Welcome back, everybody. This week, we're talking about some taxpayer responsibilities. The specific one I want to talk about today is documentation and who is responsible for what. I actually recently lost a client because they didn't like the part of my engagement letter that specified that the taxpayer is responsible for the accuracy of the information provided to me. He felt that I should be responsible for the accuracy of that information. And then I explained that I am actually responsible for the accuracy of the information I put into the software, into the tax software. So if the taxpayer gives me information, I guarantee that the information they give me will be entered correctly into the tax return but I don't guarantee the accuracy of that information. And there are a lot of reasons for that, because first of all, we cannot guarantee the accuracy of work done by other people. So if you're bringing me W-2s, 1099s, other tax documentation, there's no way for me to guarantee the accuracy of those documents. It's not even reasonable. Um, and then of course, if you're a business providing me with your income and expenses, please note that you are the one providing me that information. And I may ask some follow-up questions. I may ask for missing deductions, but ultimately you are still responsible for the accuracy of that information because you provided it to me. Again, I make sure that what I enter into the tax return is accurate. If it's different from what you provided me, there's almost always a reason that I will provide you but ultimately you are responsible for it. And in this case, this person had his books done by a bookkeeper outside of my office who this bookkeeper is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I have nothing but the highest confidence in her abilities, but I don't guarantee the accuracy of her work. Even if I have access to the books, I generally don't have access to everything to make sure that every little detail is in there correctly. And I wouldn't anyways, because that's not my job. That is the relationship between the bookkeeper and the taxpayer. They are supposed to be working together to make sure that that information is as accurate as possible. And even in our office where we have bookkeepers, we still do not guarantee the accuracy of the information the taxpayer gives us. Now we do books all day long. We process tens of thousands of transactions a week and we guarantee the accuracy of what we enter into the books, but they are ultimately the ones providing us the information. And there are a lot of times we are not provided everything where something is missing that we might accidentally find out about. For example, there's another credit card floating around. And the only reason we found out about it is because we see a payment and then we'll ask about it. But there are a lot of things that are going on behind, be, behind the scenes with our taxpayers that we just can't guarantee. Furthermore, we just can't guarantee that the information you're giving us is reasonable in terms of you haven't done anything criminal. So that's the other thing. This person, for some reason, had an issue with the fact that our tax preparation processes are not designed to find what are called defalcations, which are really misrepresentations or criminal activity. That's not what tax preparation is about. I mean, clearly, if we find something that looks a little hinky, we might bring it up. I mean, it has happened. OK, but that's not what tax preparation services are designed to do. That's not the job. So while you're reading engagement letters, when you see that part where it says the taxpayer is responsible for the accuracy of the information they provide, just note that no matter where you go, there is no way an accountant's engagement letter isn't going to include that because you are responsible for the accuracy of the information you provide to us and then we are responsible for the accuracy of the information we put into the return. All right, everybody, as always, if you need any help, give us a call. Contact information is always on the back end of my videos. And I think next week I will have taken that class I told you all about, and I will have some information for you in terms of K1s and K2s and how that is affecting 1065s and 1120Ss for my clients. Take care, everybody.